everybody. It's me, Hetty, and I showed you my onions. I've shown you my bell peppers. I'm going to show you how to do my mushrooms. Okay? So, I've, first of all, I've got three tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of oil in this pan. I'm on a medium heat, and in go my beautifully sliced mushrooms. These are two of the large packs. I think they're 16 ounces each. I will double check that. Remember, these videos are not about the quantity. They are about the heat and the stages, okay? I got a lot in here. It's more than one layer. So you could either do two batches or I've been doing this so long I know it'll work out. So, Because these are going to cook down. They are going to release some of their own fluids and I'll bring you back after they've been sizzling for a couple of minutes, okay? I'll let you know. Now it's only been a couple of minutes, but I want to show you uh, I think I showed you in the other videos what I'm going to show you, especially in mushrooms. You want to come in and you want to kind of just fold up from the bottom. Fold up like you would a batter. Come up. That way, the ones on the bottom come to the top and the ones that were on the top can settle down on the bottom. Okay? I also did add in one more tablespoon of butter. Sometimes I need to and sometimes I don't. Anyway, there's your update. I'll come back in a few minutes. Won't take long. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, and what I'm trying to show you, like I said, it's not about the amount. It's not about the pan. You do want a nice skillet or whatever, and I'm doing a lot of them, so I use this big old thing. So I want to show you. Here's the stage. It's been a couple of minutes, like I said, and I've been stirring them once in a while. See, mushrooms release liquid similar to onions, okay? So I'm going to let this cook down. They've been over a medium, kind of on the high side heat. Not high, folks. Not high. We're just trying to get them to release their liquid. And now I am going to cut it up just a little bit because I'm literally right here with it. Whoops. Bump tripod. Sorry. Because now, at this point, I don't want to overcook them. So now I've turned my heat on high. I'm not going to leave it. And I'm just trying to get this liquid out. That's it. Okay, when I, uh, it'll be probably a minute or two, and I'm going to concentrate on stirring. So it's hard. I'm looking through my camera because I'm in a tight corner here. So I'll bring you right back. Okay, it's been about, I don't know, less than a minute. And after I turned it up on high, I just want to show you this. Now, you're not going to leave them. Now, you know mushrooms cook down. Look how much they've cooked down since I've put them in the pan. And now I'm not going to leave them. I'm going to keep them moving. And we're just trying to evaporate most of this. Because you don't want to freeze them with all that liquid around them. Okay? So, so far, I think it's been a total since I put them in the pan, about three minutes. And, yep, yeah, and there's my timer going off. Okay, I'll bring it okay, back. I've shown you all this before for different things, different dishes. And, you know, smart aleck comments don't need to be made. No, we're not going to eat the paper towel. I'm doing the paper towel trick because I don't want to keep these cooking even in their own juices. So, I'll still... I've got it on high, I'm not leaving them. I'm babysitting them. I'm just gonna push this around, push it around till it absorbs everything pretty good. I'm gonna come back in with some more. Bear with me. Now, uh, FYI, I'm turning my heat completely off because sometimes they juice up a lot more and I don't want them to keep cooking. So. I want to come in. I guess you could do this with a colander. It's just easier to do it in the pan like this. And then I can show you better anyway. That, this is a great trick. All right. I'm going to keep pushing this around when I'm going to the bagging stage and they've cooled. I kind of bumped that, hadn't I? Uh, I'll bring you back. Okay. I just show, thought I'd show you I'm done with the paper towel trick a little bit. You're not going to get 100% of it, but I got about 99% of it. I might go back in with one more paper towel. But other than that, I'm going to put the, these in my handy dandy bowl and let them cool just like I do the onions and the bell peppers. Okay, I'll bring you back when it's ready to bag them up. Okay, as you can see, these mushrooms have cooled down and I'm going to do the same thing I've done in the previous two videos, but I do my mushrooms a little bit different because we use a lot of mushrooms, if, whether I'm making a skillet dish, spaghetti, you name it, stuff like that. I use uh, a, a chicken dish, whatever. I use a lot of mushrooms. So, I actually 
take the small bags and instead of just a little bit in each one, I usually fill them up to get all the air out that I can. Okay, so let me do that and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I take my sandwich bag just like I've done in previous two videos. I fold it down, but just once right at the top. Alright, then I come in, same thing. Sorry if I'm bumping that tripod. I'm trying to work around it because I'm not at my setup. And I just kind of keep going. I'm usually, I bought two packages, so these will go into two sandwich bags, okay? Now I have some in a bowl for the photo, so I want you to show, you know, they cook, they cook down. There's a whole bunch of mushrooms in here. So see, these are much more filled, and I go up about three quarters of the way. And I do the same thing, but of course these are much more full than the onions and the bell peppers because they really cook down. All right, but look at that. That's a whole package. That's 16 ounces of mushrooms right there, believe it or not. That's a whole lot of flavor. So I hope you're going to do this. It's worth it. Just do that paper towel trick, get all your extra moisture out, and you are good to go. Just like I said with the onions and the bell peppers and celery will be next. You're ready to go. Whatever you need, you'll have it. Take that bag, nuke it for about 45 seconds. It's enough to get out of the bag and then put it into the whatever dish you're making. That's as simple as that. Sorry if I bumped that again. Okay, sauteed mushrooms, part three of this series. And I hope you'll try this. I really do. It would make your life. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.